Jesus. There you are. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Dad? You Black. there, man? Hi. Yeah, hey, no, man. I mean. Sorry, I was late. Yeah, no, it's no problem. Where, where <clears throat> were you? What do you mean? Where were where were you? Like 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 you you just walked in the room. Like were you were you somewhere else? Were you were you were you wandering around? What a suspiciously loud <sighs> sip slat. What um what, just what, out what, enjoying life, Ted. What do you what do you mean? Where was I? Well, you know, crazy stuff has been happening lately. Though, slat. Um, you know the 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 queen recently passed. Ted, I was not one. I was not there. Okay, I really well, do not I, know what you're talking about. Well. I, I wasn't, I was, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if anything's, I wasn't implying. Okay. I've seen, I, I, I've seen the rumors and I really just need to put this out there. Yeah. And I made a for, shirt. I made a for shirt. For Charles' sake. For Charles' yeah, sake. Yeah, for Charles' sake. Charles III. And, and for Elizabeth's sake. Uh, let me just new, read this for the this audio listeners. Shirt. It is a shirt that says, I was not responsible for what happened in the United Kingdom on September 8th, 2022. Well, that seems was pretty not, cut and dry. was not me. Yeah. I, you know, I, I just had to clear my conscience. You know? Right. Here's what I'll say, though. I don't know if there's anyone else in the United States right now that besides you, it seems, that feels the need to absolve themselves of any potential guilt of the death of the Queen of England. <laughs> then answer me this, Ted. Why okay. have thousands of people bought the shirt? Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. Welcome everyone back to this episode of Chuckle Sandwich. We're back again, another week. Hey everybody. Um, you may notice something different though. This time around, we do not have a guest this time around and we are one, so we're, we're, we're one person down, but we thought of a solution about an hour and a half ago. Yes. Um, Schlatt, you wanna you wanna fill the audience in on what we've done here? Yeah. So we actually both went to the liquor store before this episode, and we oh, both okay. uh, are going to be getting blackout wasted on this episode, uh, <laughs> as we mourn away. as we mourn the passing of our friend who died yes. in a horrific explosion. Yeah. That again, I, we had nothing to do with it. And and you know, this is one situation that I feel like I need to put in my piece here too, and also yeah. mention that I was yeah. not at all involved in the death of. Or, you know, the no, not even death, really tragic passing on to another world of um of our of our good friend John. Sorry, I just have a hard time saying Yeah, no, his name. no. It, it, um, it is kind of upsetting to hear. Yeah. But um, you know, we can't really handle being alone, just the two of us in a call in order to do a podcast. So we thought it would be a wonderful idea. It would be a fantastic idea if we just filled the void with our very own Jamie this episode if you ever listen to the Joe Rogan podcast but his name isn't Jamie you may know him from he runs the Chuckle Sandwich Highlights account already and I've known him for about 10 years it is Ooh. my best friend Ooh. Tucker hey everybody thanks welcome for having Tucker me. Tucker we're will gonna be a disembodied voice for this yes. podcast uh he will be our producer he'll be the pull that shit up Jamie of the Chuckle Sandwich podcast. And why, what do you mean he's your best friend for 10 years? Well, I, I, what do you speaking mean? Speaking seriously here, I mean, I, I, I grew up with Tucker. Uh -huh. We went to, we went to the same high school. Um, he actually, the first time that Tucker and I interacted at a serious, in a serious way, he was help, like, we were in this Skype group with, we all played video games in Skype back in the day before <sighs> Discord even existed. Jesus and, Christ. And the, I think one of our first interactions, Tucker, you came into a video game with me and we did a recording for my YouTube channel, Jibber Dad. The dinosaur game. <laughs> yes, the dinosaur game. Exactly. <laughs> it was this game. I forget what it, I think it was like an early access game or something that you you would. It was like you had guns and you were just trying to like fucking shoot dinosaurs. I don't really remember much more than that. You Every really male's that? fantasy. Uh, all I know was something was forged that day. Something had forged nothing to do with fire. dinosaurs. Well, it was forged in the fire of setting of throwing a Molotov at a fucking Tyrannosaurus mm. Rex. That was where it was forged. That changed but, something in both of us. Yeah. So forever. Since then, 
Tucker and I have been, you know, friends for so long. The first road trip I ever did together was with Tucker where I went around the country and stuff. So yeah. And you know, Tucker, we also can say now on the chuckle sandwich podcast that we hire veterans. We have one veteran employee yes. and that <laughs> is, that is our, our good friend Tucker here, but yeah. So Tucker's going to be, Tucker's going to be, you know, for the podcast that we do this, Tucker is going to be helping out. He's going to be the Jamie. We salute him. How's Thank our you salute, for your Tucker? service. Thank you <laughs> Thank for you your service. Your service. Thank you for your service, Tucker. You're welcome. Thank you for your slap. I, I have not. Well, <laughs> you know, in other ways, I suppose, in a roundabout kind of in a roundabout kind of rogue, way, yeah. rogue squadron way, yeah, in a rogue, and it's yeah. like those, it's like those dudes that yeah, fucking you go had to, to Ukraine. What you had to do. Yeah, um, <laughs> the dudes who like will go there just to have some fucking fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Tucker, are you an alcoholic like me? Uh, I've dabbled, you know, not so much these days. Um, but, uh, you know, back when I was your age, you know, all the time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. There were some, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Ted hasn't gotten a late night phone call in a while. Well, actually the other night you did, but <laughs> that, that wasn't alcohol induced. Yeah. That was, that was fucking, uh, other substances. Um, yeah. but so t- today, today on the, on the chuckle sandwich podcast, we are going to be doing something that you guys have been a fan of for a long time. We've done several, I think we've done several episodes with this, but um, we decided to bring it back because it seemed like something you guys really liked. And that is, and we could try to say it at the same time, Schlatt, you ready? Would you rather? So I set Tucker on a journey. He went through the internet and he went on to the r slash subreddit, shit like that. Try and I, we're going to be figuring out if we want to do this one thing or we want to do another thing. And, you know, like, would you rather, I don't know, uh, would you rather uh, just uh, not do, what are you doing? I almost what had to that? sneeze. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. That was the most cartoonish preparation <laughs> for a sneeze I've ever heard. Uh, 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 I, just, I just want it to be dramatic. I'm sorry. I know. And, but I love your drama. You know, Thank that's you. why we Thank love you. you. We love the drama you bring to the situation. Um, you want to know think- something that's fucked up, Ted, that just came to my head? How yeah, am I supposed to enjoy up? my birthday? How? I don't know. I mean, well, what? Why? When? It's nestled between two tragedies now. Oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't Dude. think about that. It's either you're, it's either. It's either a couple days after the queen die or the day before 9-11. That's great. Yeah. That's fucking fantastic. Well, here's a question for you, Schlatt, though. Uh-huh. Would you rather do nothing and stay a perfectly legal citizen of the United States or travel to a foreign country and eliminate a monarch? Okay, do I get to stay there and will I have to continue paying American taxes? Because America is the one... One of like a couple of countries in the world where if you leave and you live somewhere else in another country and you don't live legally in the United States anymore, you still have to pay your federal income taxes, which really? is ridiculous to me. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And if you want to renounce your United States citizenship, it's like $5,000. I mean, that would, I don't know. I it, It's tough too, because it's like, that would be a tough situation to get rid. Like, would you would you ever feel like in your life you would ever put yourself in a position where you renounce citizenship? No, it doesn't seem like a good. It doesn't seem like a good deal. But then also, you have to pay fucking income tax. So like, are they trying to get rid of people if they move, or are they trying to keep them around at the same time? You, you never really know, and I, I, it's something that's confused me for a while. Um, well, here's a, I, I don't oh. want to be like a citizen of the world, you know. Um, well, I suppose an option would be, I mean, if you're living in another country, like the IRS is not extraditing people. That's all I have to say. Ted, so, the like, IRS just hired a football stadium full of new auditors that are <laughs> coming a, for you. That's a really funny way to put it. A football stadium. And Can you imagine a football stadium full of fucking Full of people whose job it is to make sure you pay your, fu- your taxes. They're not it's, it's, coming for, for, the, for the people up top. They're it coming is really, for you, listener. <laughs> it is really funny the way that they're framing it too, because it is a it is essentially a football stadium full of accountants that they're like 
framing yeah. as like these dudes <laughs> dressed in Spartan armor, like Dude. forming a, a phalanx or however the hell you pronounce that word, like coming towards, I don't know, Rome. 86,000 IRS agents they hired. Yeah. That's a lot of salaries to pay. That is a lot of salaries to pay. And federal employees are paid pretty decently, I imagine. Well, I, I'm not afraid, though, of an... Like, if I met a guy and he was like, oh, I'm an accountant, the first thought in my head is like, oh, no, he's going to take everything I own. He's going to steal from me. My first thought is, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna dump this nerd in yeah, a Yeah, in a lake, dumpster. in a public, in a public, you know, like a the bottom of a body of water. Yeah, like I'm going to throw him... I'm going to throw him in, in Lake Erie. Yeah. He'll sink. It's like what and, they did to the and witches. He'll sink because he's got day. so many fucking calculators in his jacket. Exactly. He's got like he's a nerd. 10, 10 TI 84s. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what they used to do to witches back in the day? They used to fucking tie anchors around their, around their ankles, the women they thought were witches, and then they'd put them in the, in the, in the drink. And if they sunk, that means they weren't a witch. Dude, what a what a and it's so and and after and if it's and if they and if they do sink so if they yeah. don't sink they're yeah they're no, a witch. so if so they if, they, do if sink, they sink they're we're not a witch but right. if they come back up then they were a witch and they got dude, executed dude I love guilty until proven innocent that's so <laughs> fucking fun so so and whenever they sink which I assume was a lot they're just yes. like. Ah, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some, you know. I guess we were wrong. <laughs> I guess we were wrong, but at least we tried. And you know, I'd rather I'd rather try and fail than, you know, mm -hmm. than have to be bewitched. It's like that Wayne Gretzky quote, you miss every shot you don't take. 100% yeah. of the shots you don't take, 100% of the witches you don't sink. Exactly. And that's what the pilgrims were saying back in the before even Wayne Gretzky was born. They were quoting yeah. him before he was even born because mm -hmm. he was he was an inspiration. He was. In, he, timeless, timeless. Timeless, classic. timeless, across time, forward and backwards. Can I say something um, real quick, Ted? You can. I fuck hope the, you would. Fuck the pilgrims. That's the yeah. stupidest shit. They they carved they carved like on a rock, and now this is like the biggest thing in Massachusetts or wherever the fuck they landed. What? Yeah. Where well, where'd the they land? Thing, where'd they even well, land? Yeah, after I left though, but previously the biggest thing in Massachusetts yeah. was my juicy ass. <laughs> <laughs> they seriously have like a tourist attraction for Plymouth Rock, and it's just a rock with it like is. some faintly carved shit. I don't in even it. know. And here's the thing: I don't even know if the Plymouth Rock that they say is the Plymouth Rock is even the rock. No, it's probably not. It's probably like it, there's there's caves. Because there's you, like a famous cave that they recreated one to one, so that people could go in it and experience it. I guarantee that rock is somewhere else. You could put the you could put a plaque in front of any rock and and, and add some importance to it, and people would take pictures with it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, I'd been to I think I'd been to Plymouth like once, but like yeah, no Plymouth Rock loser. But on your point, yeah, pilgrims. Fuck them, dude. Fucking Can you stupid. imagine being a pilgrim? And and on top of that, I find it. Have you ever met one of those people in elementary school where 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 they they're like, oh, I'm re I I'm related to the person who came, like someone who came over on the Mayflower. I'm like, shut <laughs> up. Fuck you. Who the you fuck cares? Prick. You little asshole cocksucker. <sighs> Who cares? You didn't do the work. I, I'm glad they, they were. I'm glad your your family comes from a, a persecution. <laughs> <laughs> Let's like, sink I'm you not, again. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that one like marinate. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like add more. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you to dry. It's crazy that like back in the day with the, when it came to the king, like you had to listen to him because you'd get like hung if you didn't. What do you mean but, you had to? Li how would you even listen to him? You were just on a farm, Ted. Well, they had you were on a they farm had, back in the day, dude. But do you do you know what they were doing to, to surfs back in the day? Like there'd be knights just rolling around. I bet if I was a knight back in the day, I could roll around riding my fucking horse with all my armor, and I could just fucking do the equivalent of a fucking whatever that thing is a, a drive by with a fucking claymore <laughs> on a surf, and nothing would happen to me. You're nothing right. would happen to me. You could run away, I, and then no one will. No one was like, "Oh yeah." You, you know why? No, because Google I would hands. have "Sir" at the beginning of my name. So there's nothing that anyone could do if they're not also like a noble or something. Fuck. Like, and what sort of noble is going to be like? Oh, you killed like one of my serfs that I 
didn't even know existed and, and I take 50% of their grain every fucking <laughs> two weeks. Like, yeah. They're not going to kill you're about right. that. You're right. Dude, a nuclear bomb could have gone off in the kingdom in kingdom center yeah. and all the serfs would, would not have even known until yeah. like weeks and weeks later. They when would, They would have thought yeah. that there was some witchcraft going on and they'd start throwing the local whatever yeah. the smartest woman in town into yeah. a fucking lake and they'd all it's they'd always the smartest woman around. too isn't yeah, it? it it is always the smartest it's like woman. once once a, it's like for some reason whenever a woman back then had a good idea she was like hey maybe we should stop like i don't know putting Drowning. our fucking <laughs> like storing our food with our our shit yeah. <laughs> like our, our our fucking like we shouldn't be we probably shouldn't be having our silo be also our outhouse right guys and you're like yeah no she's gotta fucking be hanged for that yeah. like it's and if you're ridiculous, if you hated one so much, you could just accuse her of being a witch and then she'd get that treatment. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. It is. It really is fucked, fucked up. up. You know, shout out to all the women. <laughs> I don't know. We Good thing that we don't do that anymore as I guess as much. It probably still happens now. Um, probably. But my point that I was about to make, though, was, you know, the kings had all that power back then. But the monarchy now, because that's obviously a topic now, the monarchy now, it's like. I was I was seeing photos when when King Charles was you know getting sworn in or whatever they do, and I saw this photo of a woman kissing his ring like his hand like they were kissing the ring oh. like he was like greeting people and there was a photo of this woman like getting getting kissy kissy with his fucking hand and he was just sitting there like like that like oh, it was still yes. a thing yes yeah Did with they his shouted, big fucking sausage hands they shouted hip hip hooray when he got. When he got anointed, did you see that shit? They said hip that. hip hooray three times. That was an official thing too. I didn't oh, yeah. know that there was any situation that, in which yeah. hip hip hooray was an official statement. That, that is tradition. That's tradi that's tradition. <laughs> that's that's not goofy. just that's not just what happens when you pay off your loan in Animal Crossing and all the <laughs> villagers go hip hip hooray. No, they, you, they they do that when they get a new monarch. <laughs> oh God, dude! Imagine I. They should make a video. There should be some meme or something where it's like they they. Uh, someone takes a video of them doing the official proceedings and they replace that with Animal Crossing talking like <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes to answer the question I would not live in America anymore yeah the original question that yeah, led to these tangents take out a yeah. monarch yeah no you would you would take out the monarch well and, and I'd still pay the federal income tax because you know what it was it was worth it and yeah, and you're and you know after all those shirts you're selling of your official oh, statement God. of the fact you definitely had nothing to do with September eighth. I've sold so many. So you're I've saying that you so would, many. but you so you would go to England though to kill an, a monarch though. But you're if also simultaneously, yeah. But you're also simultaneously saying and selling a shirt that says that, that you I didn't. specifically yeah. did not. It's the per is it not the perfect plan? Also, if my country demanded it of me, I would. Yeah, like they're going to reach out to you. Like they're like, I know the perfect guy for the job. I get a guy Discord that, DM. <laughs> the guy with the the guy with the faded Michigan sweatshirt that's that's, that's like that V-neck is getting oh, more and more goes. extreme yep. every time I see it on him. <laughs> um but yeah, I suppose you ready to get into some would you rathers? Schlein? Yeah. Well, I just answered Tucker. one. Just yeah, I know. One. That was more like I was trying to catch you in a lie. It was really, I mean, oh, I mean, no, I would, no, actually, dude. no, I wasn't trying to do anything. You can Tucker, never catch me in anything. Look at this. Because you were not. This. Yeah, it's no, just, you weren't. So many. They're on schlatt.co right now. Audio listeners love you to death. He's holding up that I was not responsible for what happened in the United Kingdom on September 8th, 2022. We might not um, be selling them anymore. You might have missed the, uh, the, the metaphorical train, so to speak. Um, Right. But, uh, by, oh, by the time this this episode goes yeah, up, yeah, yeah, on schlatt.co. Yeah. Well, yeah, my in website. some ways, then you're just sort of this is sort of a boasting thing. And anyone who did buy the shirt, they can say I have it because I didn't. Yeah. And now all the people that actually did do something on September 8th are sweating right now, dude. They are sweating because they have no out now. We're coming for you, especially the people who have it in their carts and did not complete the checkout process. We yeah. have your names and your IPs mm -hmm. and your addresses, mm -hmm. and we're yeah. going to frame you. We're gonna frame you, and we're gonna take you to jail, and we're yeah. gonna we're gonna we're gonna hand you to Prince, uh, not Prince anymore. We're gonna hand you to King, to King Charles King the Third Charles. himself, and, and he's gonna get his, you. and he's gonna get his fucking greasy chorizo fingers all over you, and Oof. he is going. He's also a bad guy. Let's also say that, guys. Like <laughs> we know that he's a bad guy, um, but either way, let's uh, let's go into the Tucker. What do you got for us? 
Okay, so I got one, and I want you to. I'm gonna preface this with a little background. I want you to remember the last time you had to move. So, like, you moved apartments or houses, <laughs> yeah. whichever you prefer. Schlan has a very bad experience with I've, that. Yeah. Actually, I've yeah, moved I, five times in the past year and a half. I just moved last month. It's fucking miserable. <laughs> it's mis. It's. I think it's one of the worst things you can endure as a modern human. Yeah. So uh, anyway, people who have the, to move are stronger than the Marines. How do you feel about that, yeah. Tucker? Oh, it's a hundred percent true. It, <laughs> Says as a Marine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, I, when you see guys, those moving companies, the turnover has got to be incredible because that job's miserable. But anyway, let me right. get you the would you rather. It is would you rather have to move apartments or houses, whatever, every single month for the rest of your life without oh. hiring movers or anything? You have to do it. What? You're allowed to use your spouse if you have one, but it's you have to do it or kill one of your family members. Kill one of my family members. <laughs> what? what? Really? What? Ted, you would not even be able to move Dude, all what your if things it was by like- yourself. I'm sorry I don't have a Toyota Tacoma with a flatbed truck that I can move all my couple pieces of furniture in. I so live you're in a house, me- a big-ass house, multiple stories, okay. a lot of property, a okay. lot of furniture, a lot of stuff to move. I can't do it. My car is two seats in it. You're telling me, though. My that- car is two seats in it. But no your, your main reason right now is saying that, oh, sorry, I don't have a Toyota Tacoma. So y- instead of going and buying a Toyota Tacoma to do that task, you would kill one of your family members? It, it's a one and done. It's a one and done. And I can think of a couple people in my brain that I would Your main would priority is simplicity in this. Well, that's probably why you don't like the moving it because it is a complicated process and it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, so t- your focus oh, is... This is... This is my answer from... The most experienced, yeah. like th- this is the most well-educated, most well-informed opinion yeah, on the podcast as someone who moved to Texas in February of 2021, had to move from the original house in June, then moved into uh, an apartment uh, a month after that, yeah. and then moved into S Fan's house uh, a couple months after that, and then a couple months after that moved into another house. While uh-huh. also moving to an office to work from in the okay. middle of it, you've so, made your point. You yeah, made your point. Uh, you've dealt with a lot. I would you've, absolutely you've, kill you've my family suffered. member. You've, the word the word you're thinking of is suffering. Yeah. You have suffered, and you I know, in, you, and and I'm sorry about that. Um, I will say for I'm now now I'm trying to think of what I would do actually though because you seem you 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 have your answer you're pretty cut and dry though Move it's awful every month because it's hard for me to, I'm like almost the opposite way I'm I just signed my lease for a third year at this apartment I haven't oh. moved I've been here for two years yeah which is crazy too because it felt like I was moving all the time because I was in college and then it was like I would I would fucking do a semester or two semesters in one thing and then go back home and I'd fucking load my fucking PC into my truck and have to, yeah. you know, drive it five hours from Ithaca to Massachusetts. But um, kill a family member. It, did it specify why or which which family member? Because it's like... If you... So it doesn't specify which family member. We're going to say that uh, you can't go further. You can't go past like a grandparent or a cousin. But if you're choosing that option, you have to name them. Okay. You have to tell mm. us who you're going to kill. Mm. So no and, further and then, than a cousin or something like that. Yeah. So, so like, like if extended. I was in a situation then in which it was like, I don't know, this is fucked up. This is fucked up. I'm trying to justify it. On top of that, you got to say, if you did choose to kill them, what amount of time between moves would it take for you to spare that family member? What you amount understand. of times between that move? How do you Yeah, mean so that? like instead of, you know, moving every month, like, no, they're dead. I can't handle that. But like, could you do mm. six months? Could you do a year? Oh. What amount of time would it take for you to save them? Mm. So I would kill you my youngest months? cousin because he has not experienced the world and I would feel less oh. sympathy for doing so than anybody else in my family. Right. Yeah. Just He was just, just not- brought into this world. Right. Maybe like a, I would prefer to not move uh, shorter than a year. I would, I would kill him a year. if so I had to. Like six months? I would months? move you every year. Months? No, no, no. Really? No. I was going to say, I was, because I feel like from one month to three months, that changed things a lot. That changes things a lot. You move you every know? three months to well, not have to kill one of Well, there's some people that sign three month leases. So it's like, it is possible. There's no such thing as one month leases. I don't Guys, think. Guys, do not sign three month leases. Just 
Take my advice. Do oh, not you, sign a three. Right. Month you lease. are actually an example of a three month leaser. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, that sucks. I guess I would kill a family member. I, my <laughs> thought, you know, less so here's the thing. I would probably prefer to do someone older in my family though, rather than someone younger though, in my humble opinion, Schlatt, because I feel like one person has experienced so much and right. they have less ahead of them, whereas the other has a shit ton ahead of them and they're already alive and born and out of the womb, you know? But what if they turn out to be like a bad person? But they already have like opinions and stuff. No, they and don't. like the games. That, what? what if How it's a baby? cousin of yours? What if it's a baby? What if Can't even baby? talk. Can't even talk. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> mm, mm, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, no, I probably, I, I, I would go with killing an older family member though, and, 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 you know, my, my limit. I guess I could probably survive. You know, I could probably survive maybe every six months. I could do six months. Every six, month. six months for the rest of your life, you'll never be I, able to settle down. You'll never you know, feel like you're in a house, like you're you in know, a home. I, I, I'll tell you this much, though. I'm going to take a long, hard look at my family. And I'm going to, and I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I'm going to see, and I'm going to, I'm going to write a pros and cons list and I'm going to figure out how much do I like these people? True. No, it's fair. Um, all right. Well, I'd say that one was pretty cut and dry. What else you got for us, Keen? Okay. I've got one that I found on Reddit that uh, the previous one was my idea. This one is, would you rather be hunted by Oh, a that was snake? your idea? That last, would you rather? Yeah, I came up with that one. Oh, that's great. That was a great um, one. This one is, would you rather be hunted by a snail for life, but get $200,000 every year, or oh, this be is the hunted classic. by the FBI for 48 hours and get $20 oh. million? Dollars? Okay, wait. And, so uh, hunted let's, by let's a just snail. assume if the snail touches you, you die or something. Could we, could we, get, could we get one more repeat of that just so I can yeah. process it fully? So would you rather be hunted by a snail for life, but get $200,000 a year, okay. um, or be hunted by the FBI for 48 hours and get twenty million. Oh. oh, so the snail is always coming after you your whole life, and it's you have to just so avoid him. And he's yeah. indestructible. I think that's another caveat, right? Like you can't. Sure, kill we'll him. say we'll say it's part of it because that, that's him, that's probably inspired by the. Yeah, that's probably yeah. inspired by the larger snail thing. You've heard of that snail thing. I've heard right, of the Tucker? snail thing. And Tucker, you've heard of that. Yeah, I've, like, I've heard of it. Yeah, the immortality. But if a snail touches you, then you die. Well, um. I don't know, because it's, it's one of those things where I'd still have to be... If I could avoid being in the snail situation, I probably would. And I think that maybe if I play my cards right, the FBI thing would probably make the most sense because, like... I could if I if if this was like a, a deal with the devil handed out to me and I could like take my time to figure out which one I want to do, then maybe I would like step back and try to like just figure out the perfect plan to get away for 48 hours. Because there are people who are on the road as convicts. There are people who have escaped the FBI for years. Right? There are there are people yeah. that that did crimes in the fucking eighties, sixties, seventies or whatever, and they're yeah. getting and they're getting arrested in the last couple of years and stuff like that. Like, like wasn't, and they, and they, yeah. So like, I feel like it would be pretty reasonable to be able to escape the FBI for 48 hours. And plus here's my other point. And I think this is a pretty good one. Time value of money. That's the word. That's the phrase of yes. the day, folks. Yes. Get that 20 million. Now mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, it's like the, it's the fucking lottery question. It's like, would you rather get the money now or get that annuity option? And if you guys don't know at home, the, the option you should go with um, is to get the money now because you see all those taxes that cut off from the lottery thing. But if you win the lottery, get the money now. Go to the fucking largest, biggest, like, sort of accounting bank yeah. firm or whatever you can. That get one's someone that's to trusted, deal, deal with it. One that's, like, trusted. Also, don't tell your family and friends. <laughs> Do not tell anyone <laughs> you know. This question had nothing to do with the lottery. Ted. I know, but I just I I just have a lot of opinions on like uh -huh. what I would do if I won the lottery and like I know I've got like in my head sort of like a, I've got I've got that gun loaded. Um but 
yeah, no, I think I would choose the FBI option. What about you, Schlatt? I 100% choose the FBI. I would hide in a fucking ditch for 48 <laughs> hours with a pile of granola bars and I'd you live and get $20 million. You this wouldn't this, be this on seems the like the easiest shit. No. Just dig yeah, yourself Tucker, what a the hole. hell? This is this is so cut and dry, man. Come on. This is I'm so sorry, cut and dry. That's my new coughing. favorite thing. I'm Ted Nivison. I say Tucker, I say things are cut and dry now. After every question I get asked, I say this is cut and dry. <laughs> Listen, okay. I get where you're coming from. No, you turn off the phone. You you drive somewhere, and you just sit there for 48 hours. They're not gonna know. All you oh, have to do you is not. All you have to do is not tell anybody where you're going. Yeah. Turn off the and phone. And especially don't Leave tell the, the FBI. Away. You don't tell the. That's that biggest would be, tip. That would don't be the, the worst FBI. thing you could do in this scenario. Because if you scenario, tell them, you'd lose. You'd would, lose. They'd find they would, you. It would be the worst choice. So if anyone was thinking of that, of like, oh, I'm going to hide from the FBI, but I'm going to tell them where they are just to make it a little easier for them. Dude, you could um, win in like, you just walk into the local McDonald's and hot, lock yourself in the bathroom for 48 man, hours. Tucker, I'm ashamed with you. I'm ashamed this is, of you. This is bad. Of how easy this was. What would you do, Tucker? Would you do the FBI one? So yeah, I'd choose the FBI one, but what amount of time would it take for you to choose the other option? How long would you be willing to be on the run from the FBI to choose a snail option? Oh, that's that's a different question. I like how you're I like how you're adding in that aspect of like how much do you need of this thing you chose in order to choose the other one? Well, I feel dude, like I, I could mean, do it for a week. Yeah. I, I feel like I could do it for a week. Yeah, I feel like it, it takes them a week, week to find me. Cause then you start then it's like a week without human interaction and shit. Yeah. Because I fun. think we have to approach this assuming that the FBI is looking like I think, you know, 20 million. That's a lot of money. I think yeah. that we have to approach this from the perspective of like looking at it like what because there's different levels to how an FBI, the FBI look for people. And I think that this one would you raise the FBI to the level of this is a dangerous person on the run, like the kind of situation where they they're putting postings up and they're like, have yeah. you seen this person? Like, if so, call us. And then when it comes into that, it's like, once they once they involve the public and it's not just the FBI looking for you and, like, people know what you look like and stuff, then it's like your options start to kind of reduce. So, yeah, I guess, oh, I guess I'll just be on the – I mean, after a week, maybe I'll just choose to be on the run from that stupid fucking snail. I think Cut and dry, Schlatt. Cut, cut and dry. dry. Cut and dry. Crystal. Yeah. Crystal. crystal that, that's crystal another clear. one i start saying <laughs> um yeah no i it's it's funny because you you really got to call me out on that too i will choose a <laughs> phrase i will like it's almost will, like i wake up one day and i'm something. like and i spin a wheel and i'm like what's my new <laughs> phrase that one time it was jazzed remember that jazzed. I, I was saying jazzed all the goosen i am you know but here's the thing i have a different opinion about goosen and for those of you who are haven't heard the episode because we haven't really been using it in a while i invented a new phrase Put it on Urban Dictionary. Someone who knows how to put something on Urban Dictionary, goosin. Okay, you can say it. It's a full. It's a great word. It's a great phrase. If you're like, oh man, oh I'm goosin for a buttery Jack from Jack in the Box, mm. because you want it. You want that thing. Or like, oh I'm I'm goosin to I'm goosin to, um like if you're like Schlaff, for instance, like oh I'm goosin to like do some assassinations of of various high level individuals. Goosin you know? for a shot. He's goosing for a shot. He's taking a swiggy swiggerino right there. God, that's like it doesn't look like you like it. it doesn't look like you're win. This like a big no. Win. It's just terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, it tastes so bad. <laughs> um, oh. you, you got another one for us, Tucker? I think we're I think we're ready for the sure, next one. Sure, yeah. So this one is: Would you rather be drunk or hungover yes. for the rest of your life? So you have to be in oh. that state for the rest of your life. Oh. So I'm thinking, like, if you're drunk. You're not really capable of like doing anything. You can't like work. What type of drunk is this? Like spins? <sighs> Sloppy spins. You know, you oh, you walked fuck. out of the bar and it's one a.m. Or you Damn. have a bad hangover. I wish. I kind of wish it was. I kind of wish it was. So it's like both of them are unpleasant. So it's an unpleasant drunk and an unpleasant yeah. hangover. Yeah, I yeah, would. Yeah. I, I well, would like to be fun drunk. You know. Because I feel like that would that would have similar be able to this. No, you couldn't drive. You couldn't do. But you're enjoying it. But you're not. All, you're also not able to really do much. Yeah, I. It's definitely fun drunk. We'll go with fun drunk. Okay, we'll go okay. with fun drunk. Because it's it's interesting because, dude, hangovers are the worst. And and I in particular, I don't know why this happens to me, but I I am like 
a, I'm a lighter weight than Shay. Like she can outdrink me. And really? like, even though I'm like six, four and she's like, I don't know, Damn. she's like fucking 22 <clears throat> pounds or something like that. And, and like, I will always wake up with a hangover. If there's like a, just, if there's even a hint of like juice or soda mixer in the drink that I'm having, like I will get a hangover probably. Like I have to do tequila. Like my main thing is tequila soda. That's my, that's my thing. Um, I think I actually, I actually, I think separately, I've talked to both you, Schlatt, about tequila sodas and I've, and, and recommended them. And I've talked to Tucker about tequila sodas and I, believe tucker is a big fan of now but i'm not sure if you try no Schlatt. tequila good. is You're the good. most useless liquor of all useless? time i hate it okay i hate it you can say what you want about tequila sodas oh they taste bad they do this it is not useless it's absolutely what do you mean useless, useless. it's useless it's dude. alcohol that is that is, you is gotta, used it's like for a getting fucking, drunk it's a 12 step program to get drunk dude, okay let me get a line of salt and put it on my finger like a mustache and i and then I do the shot, and then I have a lime nearby that I had to prepare and, and have on the table, but not on the table because the table's dirty. And right. I need to have it on a napkin, and I need to suck on the lime real yes. quick to get the tequila in. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, that is a fair point. I will say, though, a tequila soda is a little bit more simple. It is a True. very easy drink to make. It's literally like you could – have you ever been to the grocery store, and you see those little – things of they're like it, they're meant to shape they're shaped like a lime but they're basically squirt bottles it's little goo gas right? you, you know? buy one of those you buy fucking seltzer yeah or just club soda if you want to make it like more real but seltzer works too and you literally just go pour your tequila in put some seltzer water in there and then squeeze put ice in there and squeeze the fucking lemon juice you got tequila soda it's super easy yeah, I know, but then then you have to like drink the whole cup to feel anything, and then it's like I I drink I've started drinking only to get drunk. I had right. a phase where I bought a like the whole mixing kit, and then I right. would make cocktails. I mean, you remember that phase? I, do. I was talking I do. about all my all my drinks that I'd make, and then all of a sudden, you know, I, I got really fucking fat, and then I realized, <laughs> oh, if I'm gonna continue to drink alcohol, I need to just get to the most efficient part of it which is the liquor right, that will make yeah. me drunk and so this That's is why probably I'm the most calorically swigs. efficient way to get drunk is because if yeah. you have a beer a beer is like i don't know oh, beer is i mean awful bro tucker how many how many how what's the average calories that a beer oh, it's are? You're probably about, a, about 110 110, 110. Yeah, 110. i think it's it might be oh, 98 on a mickey <laughs> dude even 100 <laughs> on calories a even 100 I, calories for a white claw is insane you need like yeah four actually of them that's why i was anything. surprised just now is because i was like i would have imagined a white claw would have been less calories but I, it's being the same as a beer that's surprising yeah i mean i think that like like i don't know uh tucker do oh, we know fuck. how many like just <laughs> real quick do we know how many calories are in like a in a shot of like tequila or something i just googled it and it's not much better we, that's yeah, why we I got Tucker here. We got thing. Tucker here for that. Oh, sorry. He's sorry. our Jamie. Sorry. You got to call sorry. on him. He's, you don't need to Tucker, be, pull so that shit up. How many calories yeah, Tucker, in a shot, shot of whiskey? whiskey? Yeah, how many a calories shot of a shot whiskey, whiskey has 105 calories. <laughs> what? That explains it. <laughs> what? <laughs> One and a half ounces dude. of 86 proof whiskey. Dude, and what, you've taken You've taken three shots or that, something? That like, explains why I still look like this. Dude, that's fucking... You just pounded 300 calories just now. Fuck, man. That's crazy. I didn't know that. That's actually wild. Okay, well, what about what about tequila? It's got 69 calories an ounce. Fuck you, oh Shlatt. That my was God. an ounce you, and a baby. half. But then the extra calories for the little and line of sodium you have to do before... And then the and then the Dude, lime you suck on. Okay, <laughs> I can have a tequila soda. I don't need to be drinking. Okay, listen to me. What? How many? Like lime juice? That's not that many calories. It's fucking lime juice. It's a fruit. And then it's just seltzer water. That's just water. And then you got your tequila soda. That's fucking sixty nine calories right Dad, there. Shut the fuck up. No, you're. <laughs> 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 I fucking hate you, you dude. <laughs> dude. You t- <laughs> that was like, that was like, fuck this guy. I'm done. I, 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 I don't got anything left to say. I just got to fucking shut him down. I need That's my whiskey, so man. I don't, I don't like oh. drinking vodka. I don't, I'm, to be fair, this is next time you're out here, terrible, but hey. Next time you're out here, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll make a tequila soap for you. And then you can decide for yourself if you don't like it, but. And there's some Fair. shitty tequilas. You know, there's always a shitty tequila, there's a shitty whiskey and stuff. However, yeah. and I know that we've been gotten so off track from this would you rather, but however, and this is, I'm going to say this, and 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 I believe this is all my soul. Gin 
sucks. Oh, gin oh. fucking blows. Fuck that. Fuck you if you and drink it, gin. And like people have opinions on tequila. I get that. I get that. Tequila is a rough alcohol. Gin, I will never, ever understand anyone that likes a gin. Gin and tonic, it's like, oh, gin and gin, weird tasting alcohol, but then also tonic, weird tasting mixer. It's like, fucking it weird. just tastes like you're drinking something that's just like, it's like bitter to be bitter. It's like, it, it is literally just why the word why in a fucking cup. It's a yeah, question. Yeah, it's it's a, like, why would you, it, 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 it is, it's like uh it's a Patrick it, Bateman drink, dude. Like the only like serial when, killers who have no empathy for other people. Will yeah, drink it's that like shit. a robot trying to understand human emotions. It's like purely yeah. illogical. Why someone would get a gin and tonic mm-hmm. to me. Yeah. But to get back <laughs> to our, would you rather um, fun drunk versus hungover all the time? Fun but, drunk, fun drunk. I yeah. I can function. You yeah, get used I, to it after. I think I'm the same way. <laughs> after and, years and years of drinking regularly, you get used to it. Yeah, dude, you sound like a who's that guy? Who's that guy? It was the machine, the comedian, the machine, the machine. You know that he tells the story. Of the machine. There's a comedian. Um, oh my god, what's it? Uh, can you just look up Tucker? Um, the like the machine comedian. Is it Bert Kreischer? Bert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. He's he's a. Uh, he, he loves to drink. He's, he's, he's oh, yeah, no, yeah. I know. He, I know. Um, and I was just reminded of him in that moment. Um, but uh, it, for me, I, I just fucking hate hangovers. And I've had some really, really fucking terrible hangovers. And yeah. I think in general, when it comes to like being able to live your life, hangover feels far more debilitating mm. than being fun drunk. I will yeah. say, and this is. To all the kids out there that are just first starting to drink, okay? I would never <laughs> drunk drive, okay? I would no. be operating myself as an old lady that got their license taken away, okay? Okay, so you like drunk, I- You drunk drive? What? Ted, you just said you get in a no, car No, no, I would operate like an old lady that got their license taken away as in, oh, right, because they still drive when they, they do that, drive, when that happens. Yeah. They have to go Sorry, to church. I wasn't thinking about that comparison. Yeah, they got to go to um, church, man. I would think about- someone who legally can't drive and right. actually doesn't drive. Like I, I would be operating as if I am, I, for whatever reason I'm unable to drive, I'd take the fucking bus. I'd take Uber. I'd take a taxi. Fucking and you didn't, train. and you'd fucking enjoy it too. Dude, you you'd yeah. get in the Uber and you'd have conversations with people. Like your life would be so fun all the you, time. Dude, the amount of deep conversations oh, you'd be, you'd be like talking to someone on the train. You'd be like, yeah, dude, like, tell me about what's going on. And then, like, by the end of that train ride, you'd be like, yeah, man, so you just got to, like, dig deep and you got to, like, really just think about, like, who's around you and, like, what life. Because, like, me, personally, like, I've got all these business ideas yeah. that I, like, I really want to do that I just, like, can't act on. And I just need to, like, well, dig deep, man. Dude, your wife sounds like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I would no, take fun, fun drug, drug any day dude, of the week. Everything hangover, you eat. Hangovers suck, dude. Hangovers fucking suck. I feel like I, I'd like, probably get I would a lot be of weight get, too if I was fun drunk all the time. I'd be eating so many snacks. I'd be able to get like no work done during a hangover, anyways. Because yeah. I mean, it just it, it, the, the uh, and and it's it's basically it's basically the the sorry. Are you all right? You're right. Yeah, Mar. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, come on. Hey, couple, bring it together. Couple. I haven't eaten today. You put a put a put a. Oh man, you haven't eaten it, and you. That's how three, I make it. Four? That's how I make it work. Yeah. See, I offset the calories of this by not oh, eating man. anymore, and it what works. A, what an incredibly unhealthy way to go about it. <laughs> no, but the good thing is that it gets you drunker. So, like right. four shots of that, five shots of that, and you're on the ground already. Yeah. You. So you're one shot away from being on the ground. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, so, but what I was about to say was. I think the question is essentially, I think it's essentially fucking, um, would you rather live your life sort of without regret mm. and like being unaware of consequences and stuff, or would you live your life just being completely regretful of, of being hung over or whatever? Cause it's like you hangover is just the feeling. It's basically the feeling of regret turned into pain is yeah. really all it is. It is probably the, right. the best, the best real life pain understanding of the, of the, of what regret feels like is, is what it is. But I take fun drunk any day of the week and to mm-hmm. all the kids out there, start early. <laughs> oh, uh, 
on your homework is what he's saying. On your on your on your on that paper that you haven't written, it's due on Friday. Don't that's, even that, fuck right? with the that's salt. What he's Don't even fuck with the salt. Don't even do the line. Just drink that shit. Be efficient. And on your get chemistry you experiment, because salt fun, that is a chemical. Get that, that fun is a shit. chemical. Oh. God. How am I gonna work out of that one? No, just kidding. Um <laughs> All right. I think that, you know, cut and, yeah. dry. Cut and 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 dry. Crystal. Crystal. Dude, I love Crystal. I've been enjoying that one a lot. Um, I'm goosing for another another one, Tucker. What what do you got? Uh okay. Here, try this one. Would you rather try this out for size? Would you rather fight for your life against one German shepherd? And it's like bloodthirsty or whatever. Or ten feral cats in a small room. You have no weapons. Oh. Ooh. That's interesting. One bloodthirsty dog. So we were both in enclosed rooms. Yeah, okay. same room. Let's just say it's like a dorm room with nothing in it. And it's one bloodthirsty German Shepherd or ten bloodthirsty feral cats. Oh, nice emphasis on the ten. So it's like one bloodthirsty German Shepherd. So like I'm oh, taking man. the German Shepherd. I'm taking well, the German dude, Shepherd. Dude, don't you take only that. Need don't one say good that blow. too. But don't you only say need that one too crushing fast. blow. On don't him. say that. You only need one crushing dude, blow. Don't you say get that your too hand. fast. He starts. But listen, dude, you offer him your hand. He starts <laughs> biting on your hand. <laughs> get the other one in there. <laughs> you fucking rip How his jaw apart, and then he's think you are? done. He is How done. How strong do you think you are? You're gonna rip his fucking head apart. I think I could do that to a dog. How much pa- a German shepherd? Do you not? Yes. Okay, Tucker. Tucker, look up the uh, look up the bite force that a German shepherd can exert in pounds. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Maybe I can't. This is do why that. we got a Jamie baby. Okay. Okay. You're no, lo- I- you're looking at between seven hundred and a thousand psi. Okay. So you're What's telling me what's a human me, bite? What's a human bite? Well, you're not biting him back. What are you talking just, about? I just need a frame of reference, man. Okay, that's fair. Fine. I'm sorry. A I'm human sorry. bite I, is I, I seventy psi. Oh my! And for God, reference, dude. a polar bear is twelve hundred. So you're you're the bite is going to be closer to a polar bear than it is a human by a long shot, dude. Dude, you're you're thinking you could rip apart. That's basically like you saying you could rip apart almost a polar bear. I would rather dude. have my stab at that than ten feral cats because you can only focus on a couple of them at the same time. Yeah, you do own a cat, and I don't. I don't really have too much experience with cats. Is this coming from your experience with Jambo? No, Jambo's never attacked me, and I, he never would. He loves me. Well, he's never attacked you, but he is pretty damn close to feral. I've seen Jambo do some fucking unhinged things. Yeah, he is pretty close. But that dude, that dude I, walks around. He, I, dude, I was at your, dude, when I was at your place, he was messing with uh with Connor's cat. He was being an asshole. Now imagine ten of them. Ten of them, all with their own ideas and thoughts and opinions, attacking you from different angles at different times. You couldn't right. do that. You, right. you, would so, be, you would be shredded. You would be filleted. So it's like one bloodthirsty big thing versus yes. ten calculated you, little you things. Only but have, they both you, have sharp. You only have one thing to focus on. Oh, yeah. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I the feel first like thing I can that came land. Mind, all right, look. I feel like if, if I was put in a situation, you could get really lucky. And like one kick would would do that thing in, one perfectly one placed one perfectly placed kick as it's running to you. You get your leg up, boom! Right in the like, fucking right in the fucking head. Oh, that thing know, will be like, out. Lights out. But like, and if then you, you miss keep, that and you kick. Keep, if you miss that kick, though, <laughs> audio listeners, love you to death. Schlatt put a lot of effort into that. <laughs> um, here's the way I'm sort of, I just got to explain how my mind's working because it's going in different directions. It's all over the place. Um, you seem to have figured it out, but I'll say the first thing that I thought of when the when the question, Tucker said the question was my mind went immediately to I am legend when the dude, the fucking creepy zombie guys came out and there was the ones that, that were the dogs that got turned that got turned to the the, the virus too. You know what I'm uh, talking about? Have you seen I Am Legend? I've seen I Am Le- it's been and a then the, decade there's that one though. CGI shot of the dog going like blah, 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 blah. 
You know, I'm thinking of that. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want that. And you then you're not on the surviving other side the of it, 10 cats, well, you'd be on. lacerated, brother. You'd be well, lacerated. You'd be bleeding from every hole in your body. Listen, I respect your vocabulary, but let me explain, please. Because I think I've, this is, this is the crux of it. Cats, I feel like because they're so small, like you could crush a cat's esophagus with a hand, with one hand, right? With a dog, I suppose. But you, dog, you, will you be able to do dog. that effectively when there's nine others coming like, after you? Well, it's kind of and one of those bite things you like, on your many, legs. You're like, oh, oh, oh. But you're just like, you not be ooh, able ooh. to. No, no, no. It, ah, ah. It'd be that. It'd be more okay, like that. Thank you for the clarification of yeah. the noise you make. <laughs> um, I'm taking uh, the dog. No, I'm lending one. Not. I'm lending one good blow on him. One good kick. Ted, you mind if I add perfectly something? executed kick? You you brought up the I am Legend thing. You guys, if you're gonna keep talking about this, you should watch that dog scene because I think it'll uh, really change opinions on this. Because really? uh, the question is a bloodthirsty German Shepherd. It's not like could your you, buddy's German you Shepherd's a- pissed. Okay, come on, man, dude, look at that thing. No. Look at that. No. Look at that. Look it's, at that, dude. Ted, there's six of them. I know, but look at just one of them and look at how freaky it looks. Yeah, I, I paused mine, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know what perspective this comes from? Did you ever have a dog growing up? No, I never okay, had a dog so growing I've up. I've never had a cat, but I had dogs and I've been bitten by a dog before, twice. Uh-huh. One time I was bit, bitten from a dog right here. That's why I got the nose thing. Remember that? I told you about that. Uh-huh. And then on the other side of it, uh, when my parents had just gotten uh, a new dog, it was a rescue. It grew up on like a puppy mill or something like that. And it was like, didn't like dudes, didn't like men or guys with baseball caps. Double bad for you, Schlatt, just oh, saying. Bad. And so I would have to like, you know, walking through my parents' home, I would have to kind of, she had a period of time, her name's Sersha. She's a little Westy. She's a little tiny white Westy. But mm-hmm. when back in the day, when I was, they were, she was first getting app, acclimated, she was like fucking kind of scary because she could snap <laughs> and like, you know, she would walk around really carefully and stuff. And it was a defense thing. It was a defense mechanism. So it's like st- even stuff like, like even now when I visit home, walking up the stairs, I think it was connected to something of like the people who worked at the puppy mill when they come down the stairs to where all these fucking cages of dogs are and stuff. That meant that they're going to get like abused or something like that. But um, so when you walk up the stairs, I'm she'll like come after the stairs and start barking at it. But there was one time I was just walking across the room and I didn't even really know I was like bothering her or like she just didn't like the way I was walking or that I was like, I don't know, going towards my mom or something like that because she's very protective of my mom. And she fucking came after me and bit me in the in the fucking calf and and she drew blood and it was like a it was like not a huge bite but like she drew blood quickly and it hurt and I don't know I I'm, I, I I think I, that I, look, I, want, I think in terms of drawing blood the cats are going to be a, a way bigger problem you are going to be dripping like a wet cloth when when you try and take mm, ten feral true, cats on drip. how. What's the max weight Fuck, of a German a Shepherd? Analogy. It's about Dude, like 100 pounds. It's just under 100 pounds. Oh, about 100 pounds. Dude. Dude. Tucker's this is, faster this is than you fi- No, Dude, this, is easier fight. this is an easier fight. This is an easier fight than another human. And I'm a 6'3", 250 pound gargantuan beast to this thing. <laughs> yeah, it might be It might be a little. A gargantuan might be a little, beast. I'm stronger little, than anything he's ever seen. Might be a little bloodthirsty, but this is one of them. It's that not dog in a pack, and that I dog's gonna one wish he didn't walk into it. that room. I, I land one fucking blow on this thing with my thunder thighs, my tree trunks, and it is gone. And yeah. I just keep stepping on him. You seem like you think that though. It's when the dog comes at you, you're gonna enter into your mind palace, like sh- like like um like like Benedict Cumberda- Cumberbatch and <laughs> fucking Sherlock, and you're gonna be like the dog is traveling at a at a, at a 7.5 miles per hour. He is approaching me at an angle of 32.5 degrees. If I throw this pebble that's in this cell at his left eyeball, he'll be blinded for three seconds. Then I could lift up my leg and put a force of exactly 125 pounds into the dog's fucking skull, <laughs> and it will shatter. Like. Is that is that how you're gonna go about it? Is you're gonna go into fucking Ted? I need to get lucky once. I need to land a good blow. Okay, 
And with the cats, yeah, I mean, that is a good point. You, to get you lucky gotta get multiple lucky times. ten times. I you gotta suppose. get lucky ten times with those things, and it, that you will you will have parts of you hanging off of you. You will become a fucking Christmas tree with little tiny <laughs> ornaments of your skin <laughs> dangling off of your off of your torso. Christmas tree, dude. That's funny. It's like it, you, your skin will be like the that fucking shit that's really hard to hang up. It's called the uh, oh, it's like uh, tindly tindly something. What was Tinsel. the word? I, Tinsel. Yeah, yeah, your fucking skin's be like tinsel hanging off a Christmas tree. Ironically, oh, fucked. tinsel is oh. very toxic to both dogs and cats. So I smuggle. Can I smuggle in some tinsel then, Keen? Can I smuggle in some tinsel? No weapons. Fuck. Yeah. It's poison. Oh, well, that's a weapon. Fine. All right. Yeah. Nah, you, I'll take the dog. Me, I, I, Tucker, I what I would you do? Dog. I'd take the cats any day of the week. Really? Yeah, of course. And why is that? Uh, well, that dog's got a lot of torque, man. I don't think you guys are accounting for the torque. Think, yeah, think about no, that, dude. dude it's, a, it's a good point. You know, you, you've you've done a lot of, you know. I haven't done anything that relates to this. I don't know where you're going with it. No, you, no, no, no. You, <laughs> you know, I did a lot you of know cat a thing or two about days. <laughs> you did a lot. Of, you, you know a thing or two about torque. Look, you need to land one good blow, and I think you even have multiple chances. Even if the dog gets one bite in, you're not you're not falling apart yet. Hey, Tucker, could you look up real quick if a dog attacks you, do you get multiple chances? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you one um, good blow. And honestly, Ted, I think if, even if the kick lands anywhere on that fucking thing's body, if I get a good anywhere front, front kick, that thing is going to be humbled at the very least. He is going to take a second to reevaluate who the fuck he is dealing with. These are, these, these are feral, bloodthirsty, feral. So these dogs are... Dude, these dogs and cats. It's a wolf these, and a uh, German shepherd's body, more or less. It's a wolf and a German. Okay, that's a good way to put it. Um, yeah. Oh, or just God. run into traffic. Just like run from it for a little bit. They run thirty Great miles way. an hour. I've I've brought this up. I've brought this up on the podcast before. If did a police dog, said? what did he say? They get a top speed of thirty miles an hour. Okay. I hope a road's close by. <laughs> if a police dog is chasing you, the best thing you can do is to run into traffic because that thing will tunnel vision in on you and it will be hit by a car I almost immediately. I have heard about this. Is this something I you've already this up. said? I've already <laughs> said this on Chuckle Yeah, you've Sandwich. already said this. Okay, so you're in a cell with no way out. My legs are going to be doing all the work, son. I'd need a train. If, 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 yeah. if I have the option of this, I'm going to need some training, you, you know? I'm going to need training. a train. Yeah. I will walk back my initial claim of being able to tear it apart from <laughs> inside of its jaw. It was like, I don't like you came viable. in, you came in with the most, like that is the most confidence you could have had. It's the liquid courage. It's like, the liquid like courage. Are, like, dude, that, that visual that came to my head was like insane. Like you <laughs> thought you were, that's like something that like they wouldn't even say would be canonically accurate for like a demigod to do is that they could just grab a wolf and then tear it its jaw open and someone could probably do it i'm gonna say at this point i've changed my answer from the dog though i think that there's a lot against you when it comes to the dog even though i personally think that if i was given a knife i could probably fight a wolf and i could probably win but oh absolutely um, yeah no i think I would, I'd, I'd split that thing open like a christmas turkey um but i think with the cats <laughs> like a christmas turkey baby like on Cut and dry. every Christmas, every Christmas, splitting that thing open. Um, I think that in the cat situation, and this is all I'm going to say, and then we can probably move on to the next word you rather, because we've spent a long time on this one, is that I think you throw the cats in there, I'm just going to start stomping, like really quickly, like running around. Because like, even if it's a feral cat, like they can't really, like I'm heavy. I'm heavy. Oh, I'm they like 230 start biting pounds. you and latching onto you like little, like little, uh, little, little eels, little, little flesh-eating eels and then they start drawing blood and then all of a sudden you're leaving a blood trail dude, and but the parts stomping, start hanging off of you and then like they get the stomping though dude think about the stomping and like if i get a good pair of like heavy timbies on what fucking tims? cat listen i've tried stomping a bunch of them in my life i've never been able to you've tried to stomp on a cat talk your next question all right, next question is, would you rather have to live the rest of your life 500 years in the past or 500 years in the future? Do I get to take things with me back to the past? Do I get like a backpack full of shit? Yeah, let's say you, you could bring a backpack full of shit. 
I'm going to the past every day of the week. Really? Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Show people iPhone. How are you gonna or, charge it when it runs out of battery? I bring a power bank for a little bit, or a little solar panel. Beep 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 beep. You're gonna bring a solar panel on a backpack? Yeah. Little what mini happens one. when it breaks? A little mini one. I repair what, it. Do you know how to repair a solar panel? <laughs> I know the crafting you don't. recipe. You don't Dutch know craft. how to bend. And this is the biggest problem with people who think that they can go back in time and they're going to figure everything out. I'll bring a rifle. Stuff. Uh, you bring Dude. a rifle and then you're set for you're set Dude, for at least a week. You past. become the king. What if you get sick? I bring some Benadryl with me. You gonna bring some Benadryl with you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And then you I say, would probably oh, make I just everyone swallowed sick this. Oh, die. yeah, I swallowed this little colored pill. You get hung. You're a witch. That's you're why I have a gun. I have a gun. Oh, you brought a gun. Okay, so yeah, now at this gun. point, you're bringing a solar a panel. You're bringing a power well, bank. I don't need the, listen, a, the iPhone and the solar well, what panel. What are you bringing? Is just a Give thing me a that, list. Is this a thing to wow people? They're like, wow, what is that? I'm like, iPhone. The gun is a necessity. You br- <laughs> iPhone. The, the, <laughs> wow. iPhone. <laughs> the gun is a necessity. It's an absolute necessity. Okay. I'm taking this thing with me every day of the week. That can't fit into a backpack. Well, it could, my, well could a Tucker could have fit in a backpack? Yeah, you break it yeah. down. You can just pull the two pins yeah, out, you snap it in half. put it together. Mm, okay, so you're gonna have to. I you think know how to take you know how to take care of that gun. You need a bunch of bullets. You need a bunch of magazines, and you would run out at some point, dude, and you would not dude. be able to forge anymore. But in the few magazines you get, I feel like I can make it worth. Mm. I feel like I can write myself into the history books, at the very least, and that's all I care about. Yeah. I don't know. I would future? probably. What are you going to leave everyone you love and then be just left behind? Either like a, way, like you're guy. leaving everyone you love. You're just choosing oh, a different yeah, time. But at to least go you there. could be. At least you could be fucking awesome. You could be like mm. Nostradamus. You could be like, oh, hmm, what is it? Sixteen hundred. This dude is about to. This dude's. This dude's art is about to blow up. You know. Are you ready for me? Are you ready for this right now? What. I will place all of my net worth into a high interest bank account savings. I will go 500 years into the future and be the richest man alive. You think the U.S. dollar is going to be a thing? In 500 years, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I, I mean, it's kind of tough because you know empires only really last like X amount of years. But you know, I'll probably bring some stuff with me. But the one thing that I'll do before I leave is you know. Maybe choose some banks that have a history of lasting for a while. Because there are some banks that have been around for like, you know, 500 years already. There are you'd some. Have to, you'd have I to think. bury gold, though. Like, you'd have to. I would I would yeah. be much more secure in burying or like hiding a, a very scarce asset. Yeah. Somewhere. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking my brain is sort of thinking because, you know, I there's just I like the idea of traveling into the past and sort of being able to bring things and like help people and stuff but like you at the end of the day unless you have the ability to cover your healthcare needs um by also knowing everything about healthcare that hasn't been invented yet and then also cover your personal comfort needs that by also being able like there's the amount of knowledge you need to bring back to cover the entirety of what society has become now it's like there's not too much that one person could achieve i feel like um especially because like I don't know. Did penicillin, penicillin didn't exist five hundred years ago. Did not years, exist. No. Like no. and and like antibiotics weren't around. Like and you, like and you could, it would like you would like, be able to like if you gave Benadryl to a king and were like and like distribute have you ever this, gotten like have you, you ever get, gotten you, like the flu? Yeah, I've gotten before? the flu. Yeah. How many times? A bunch of times. A bunch of times. How many times yeah. five hundred years ago do you think that could have actually killed you? Oh, very frequently. Very frequent, but I'm I'm not saying you become like a king. I'm saying you you, you, you said you no, said no no you no put no no no. In the history I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put myself oh. in the history books by right. by by having like a, a large flame. explosion and like, a very quick fizzle out yeah. like a like a supernova. Yeah, like you're lighting a match and it's like yeah yeah, yeah but at the, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna become the talk of the town. I'm gonna bring a bunch of weapons, and if if my conventional means of wowing the public like uh, like iPhone does not work then i'm just going to start shooting people okay <laughs> in a video game as opposed 
to my idea, which is I think it would be cool if I try to figure out a bunch of ways that I can make certain assets and various things appreciate over 500 years, whether that be put money into a bank account or X or this or bury gold, like you said, and then show up 500 years later and... Uh, money can't buy happiness, Ted. No, it can't, but it could buy me a fucking flying car 500 years in the future. <laughs> I also worry about what the world will look like in and 500 imagine years. the fucking I'm back video 500 years after you stop making that's videos. true dude the, you know, the amount live of views channel that would get ancient youtuber from two th from the early 21st <laughs> century <laughs> do you has think massive that comeback you think YouTube will still be a thing I'd at least get an article from the Guardian that's all I gotta say yeah the Guardian <laughs> the guard whatever the Guardian is 500 years the the words will slightly change the Guardian <laughs> It'll just be about gourds. Um, yeah. What do you th what do you think? Tucker, what would you do? I always like hearing what Tucker would do. Um, I don't know. This one's really tough. So I've been looking shit up and the 15, so you'd go back to what, 1522, which was the second wave of the plague is going on. Dude. So dude. If you go back, you're going to be go in like a no healthcare dude, situation. Dude, this is <laughs> going back during the fucking bubonic plague. <laughs> Round two, dude. You didn't probably, tell me that, man. I'd probably go forward in time. But, man, what if you like, you know, you get teleported, you show up just like a crater. It's like Mars. Because we just like. Well, it's funny, too, Schleich, because you were saying you didn't tell me, man. But you you made your choice without considering that, without considering what's going on you're back right. then. So. Uh, that's funny. Damn. Okay, so what? Um, what's going on 500 years in the future then, Tucker? Can you look that up real quick? Uh, yeah, we nuked ourselves out of existence, and the Earth looks like Mars. Oh, uh, fuck, dude. Come on. Really? That's So I guess we both lose then, Shalat. That's yeah. That sucks. Well, I mean, you're well, not going to make I'm, it pay. You, you should go into the future. If you were given the choice oh, before, you just want me to be, right. before October 25th. 2025. Yeah, 2023. Uh, 2023, 25, yeah. 25, yeah. Some, some, yeah, some specific Because yeah. you are going to die soon. Dude, dude, it's just, you know what I actually thought after that recording happened? And for context, for those of you who don't know, we did a video and Schlatt did this bit where I'm going to, I mean, I'm saying bit, but he's, yeah. Um, where I'm going to die in October something at 2025 or, yeah, I think, off target 23rd, 2025, I think is what you said. Yes. And I was thinking to myself, I got, I kind of got, I was going to bed one night and I was thinking to myself, man. Freak accidents happen. What if I die before then? And like, <laughs> Schlatt has to deal with like comments that say that. That's going to be rough for that him. That would be rough. Oh, no. Ted, please um, do not die. I will try my fucking best not to. Thank man. you. Thank you. And I'll do it for you. I appreciate that. And I want everyone to know who listen to the Chuckle Sandwich, I'm living for Schlatt. So Schlatt doesn't feel bad. <laughs> so he doesn't feel guilty. Um. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Do you have any more for us, Tucker? I mean, how? how, how I I, long we I was going to give you guys an option almost just because I figured you're almost out of time. Uh, there's a, yeah. We we could we probably have time for one more. There's a let's do one more. There's a fighting one which you guys like, but those take a while. <laughs> we do love to fight. That is, you know, you know us so well. And then I've got one that's like it's almost like you've listened to every single podcast. Yeah, almost. Um, that sounds so fucking give us sad. A fighting You're one. making no, money. It's it's fighting. We're paying you. Yeah. Give us a fucking one. Pain, okay, man. Okay, the fighting one is: Would you rather fight one boxing round against Mike Tyson in his prime? But you, oh, I like you this have, one. I saw this one. You actually. have brass knuckles. He's bare knuckle. Or okay. fight one round against an adult male gorilla, but in this case, you have a baseball bat. And both are dead see, either way. I'm, no, I'm dead either way. They're both essentially bloodthirsty. I'm I'm not surviving this. I I listen. I'll take my bets against the the hundred pound dog, but those are two killers in the ring right there. And even probably, with a baseball bat, you're not you're not making much progress. I think, dude, fucking baseball bat's a twig to a gorilla. Yeah, that may be made of balsa wood, and though I mean, fucking baseball bats are the wood they make out of baseball bats out of is insanely hard. By the way, what a fucking what a wood. Yeah. What a, like oh, good yeah. for that wood. Good wood. Honestly, good wood. Definitely like good. whatever tree, like I'm sorry we had to kill you tree, but like your assets, you know, good assets. Really good. And I was a baseball player, so I can yeah. fucking, I can swing, but I still do not think I would be able to, to kill a fucking gorilla. Do you think a gorilla could, could snap a baseball bat? 
Probably. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's I mean, it's a baseball bat though. Although now that I think about it, never mind actually. Baseball players break baseball bats all the time. Right? We'll let you take a metal yeah, one. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Well, dang. Okay. Yeah, I would probably choose the Mike Tyson one too because, and you know how I am with these would you rather's. I always go down the financial route of, of gaining money and power. I can't, I mean, come on. Like, guy who cannot hold, hold his own goes at Mike Tyson with, in his, they, we brought back Mike Tyson from his prime. Prime time. Prime time. You wouldn't even land a fucking Rick. hit on him. Uh, that's true, but you wouldn't. like, I know, but like, think about like the total, like the pot of the fight. Like, what what is that called? What is that called? The purse. You know what, yeah, the purse. Would that be pretty? It'd pretty, be a pretty lot good? of money. I mean, Mike Tyson wouldn't kill you. And like, I would. It's one of those things where it's like Mike Tyson. He he still has to follow the 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 rule of the rule. There are rules, and is they will man. stop the fight. He is, but a man. with a gorilla, no one can stop a gorilla. Yeah, a gorilla, like, can you imagine, like, the fucking referee coming out and be like, the fight's over, the fight's over. He just gets sent 50 feet yeah, to the left. Yeah, and the gorilla's like, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like the gorilla. <laughs> like, he's the gorilla from Batman all of a sudden, the yeah. one that can speak. Yeah, no, yeah, no, he's like, all right, sorry. Sits down, like, first starts eating some cookies or some shit. Um, <laughs> Gives a press conference after. Oh, oh. Dude. Yeah, I think that's pretty cut and dry. By the way, before we go, dude, did you see how Good Mythical Morning? Because it came. They got up the early. fucking they, cookie. They monster, got the cookie dude. monster. Did you on see their that show. shit? Did you, you see if, that, if, Ted? If, if, I did see that. I watched the whole thing. I did because too. Also, the whoever plays the cookie monster, he's a funny guy. He's very he's a, funny. He's 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 like I get why Sesame Street has been around for so long is because some of the things that the the Sesame Street characters say are genuinely funny statements. That like, and and you know the kids are just they're like oh fuck how the hell am I gonna count to eight? But like the parents are like listening to what they're saying and they're like this guy yeah, this is funny. It was so um, cool. I just to thought see, that was really really cool. Yeah, very cool to see such a staple from like all of our childhoods on a new yeah, like on a, a like YouTube a, channel. On a YouTube channel with yeah. YouTubers. I mean they mm -hmm. are you know in some ways it's like a staple with another more modern staple because Red and Link are like true. You know, hey, hey, Rhett, hey, Link, you want to come on? We'll, we'll chat with you. We'll chat with you. Um, that wasn't meant to sound suspicious, Rhett and Link, the way I said that. Yeah, let's that, have a but, chat, Rhett. Yeah, let's. Well, why'd you single out Rhett in that, in that instance? What was oh, no going on reason, there? No reason. I got a what bone is, to pick with Link yeah, Neal. Yeah. I'll say that much. <laughs> it was so cool to see Cookie Monster on there, though. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, no, that was very cool. That's all I really wanted to say, but... <laughs> um, thank you guys. I just wanted to mention that cause it was just on my mind. But if you guys haven't seen that and you're listening right now, go check it out. It's actually really cool. It's just like a red and link. They, they run a show good Metal morning. If you haven't heard of them somehow and you know us, um, and they had the fucking cookie monster on their show and it was like, it was, I don't know. It's just very, 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 very cool and somewhat validating for us sort of being in this industry of being like, yeah. oh shit, that's really cool. It was a sponsorship too, because it was like a new show. Yeah. There was, a, was like a Sesame street mecha robot. Yeah, bullshit yeah. that they were plugging, but also still cool. Yeah, really, really cool. Um, well, that was fun. You enjoy yourself, Schlatt? I did enjoy myself. I did too. I had a little bit of liquid courage, so maybe watching this back, I will walk back some of my statements about landing the perfect kick <laughs> on, a, on a bloodthirsty German Shepherd. But hey, yeah. you know, I think it. I think it made for some good entertainment, and yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed that little debate. Well, thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of Chuckle Sandwich. If you're watching on YouTube, please give this a like and a subscribe. And if you are listening on Spotify or any other podcast thing, make sure to follow the podcast. And, and you heard it a day earlier. Yeah. And the audio. we're going to we're gonna start posting the podcast on audio a day earlier. Um, the schedule that we're going for is Monday posting a podcast of on audio and Tuesday is when the video will be posting. So that is the new schedule. That what that's when you should look for it during the week. Schlatt's gonna be on my ass, so I make sure to make sure that I upload them at the correct times. Big time. So big but time. Yeah.
appreciate all you guys for sticking around after all the craziness of the last year and scheduling conflicts and Charlie getting blown up <laughs> by a bomb. Yeah, that's so that's sucks. Yeah. And we had nothing to do with it. And again, nothing and we to didn't do, with do the it. And all, yes, and I've nothing. just been home. I've just been home in Austin. All, right. Yeah. Of course. For months. Yeah. I don't go anywhere. Didn't know why you needed to clarify that, but there's not a pile of weapons well, under my desk. I, you know, I never even. What do you? 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 What do you do? Oh fuck! 